hello guys welcome my name is Magdalene Janney if you are new come join the fam don't forget to subscribe because we're always here hanging out and of course welcome back to all my oldies with goodies I have nothing on my lips today because look at this L'Oreal just released their color Riche red line it is called hold on let me go to my laptop it is called Red of Worth Satin Lipsticks. I got mine at Target. They are fairly new. I was only able to find them at Target. I'm sure it's gonna expand eventually, but this is how they come in this little package. They do retail for $5.99. The price is right there. This is like the cutest ornament you can give someone during the holidays, but they're red shades. I love brands when they come out with a good range of reds because not every red goes with every skin tone and it's also personal preference i personally like blue undertone red or true reds not like orange or warm tone you know so oh let's let's open her up i i just don't want to mess it up look like legit a freaking ornament right, so you take it out like this dang i like how it's like well wrapped together so I just picked this shade, 188, and let's see. Oh, girl, this is already a nice one. This one's called Respected Red, and they have such great names. Let's just start. So if you've never been here, welcome. I always do lip swatch videos in studio lighting and in daylight. We first do all the lip swatches, and then towards the end of the video, we just talk about it. I tell you how they look, how they feel, how they smell, if it's worth it, if it's not. And you guys get to see exactly how everything looks, you know? All right, fam, this is the order we're gonna go in. And these are how they look up close and personal. Ooh, look how pretty it is with the little packaging there. Just want to give you a good, good look. And it started off with the first one, Prosperous Red. This is the shade Prosperous Red. And in daylight, this is Prosperous Red. <laughs> Moving on to shade number 186, Lovely Red. This is Lovely Red. And in daylight, this is Lovely Red. Bonjour. Moving right along to 187, Successful Red. This is the shade Successful Red. And in daylight, this is Successful Red. Ooh, next one up is 188 Respected Red. Respected Red. Bonjour. And in daylight, this is Respected Red. Next one up is 189 Ambitious Red. Thank you. 
This is the shade Ambitious Red. And in daylight, this is Ambitious Red. Hey. Last but not least is 190 Hopeful Red. Hopeful red. And in daylight, this is hopeful red. All right, guys, this is it. This is the sixth and final lip swatch. Wow. <laughs> Using the new L'Oreal Color Riche Red, I believe they're holiday. They're inspired by the holidays. It doesn't look like they're limited edition or anything. So they are available at Target, which is where I bought it. I'm pretty sure Amazon will carry it and all other drugstores will. But you guys, these shades are pretty. Super creamy, super. When I mean super pigmented, very, very moisturizing. They have a bit of a scent. It's like a, a fruity scent, nothing too potent and too much but you definitely get a scent in these i just really like the shape of the bullet too as you guys saw i mean i did use brushes to help me line my lips i don't have the most defined cupid's bow i don't have the biggest lips so i need help usually i use lip liners but anytime i do lip swatches i want you guys to see the true color of the shade so lip liners is just not gonna help us but usually i would use a lip liner which i recommend because these are very very creamy it can easily slip and then you can do a slip like that i did that a few times when i was lip swatching them so keep in mind you can always just clean that up with some concealer and like a very small concealer brush you can line it up or you can also use setting powder to give it that sharp edge because applying red lipstick or any colorful lipstick it's legit like eyeliner and whoo it's one of those things you have to take a deep breath and not have coffee because your hand will be shaky you know what i'm saying i really like the first two did you guys notice on the first lip swatch i was on the floor because i was chasing the sun literally <laughs> I was surprised I liked them because they have more of the orange undertone, but they also have like a terracotta undertone as well. I really just like how these look, how they feel, how they apply. Application is very, very important, especially when it comes to lipsticks. Usually they're not as pointy and they're not application friendly. You can easily mess up because the tip is not that pointy. And here I like how it slants so you can just fit it right here perfectly these are very very similar to the other l'oreal lay new lipsticks they are in the color reach line those are more in the nude family and they do have like browns and stuff so i really like these they performed beautifully they do transfer because they are you know creamy lipsticks the only thing about this one is that because it's the darkest shade it has a it's a little bit on the plum it will apply a little bit on the patchy side it's not the lipstick it's usually the color the way it's formulated it just will give you patches so what i always recommend to do is apply it let it dry down a little bit and then apply a second layer so it's not slipping and sliding and you get the true dark shade of this one but other than that all of these perform beautifully i loved which one is it like my favorite is it this one yeah 180 is it 187 yeah 187 it has the blue undertone and mm, so good so good so good the red shades are available in so many different undertones that will work for so many skin tones and that's really important when i am lip watching and showing you guys how lipsticks perform and how they look in studio lighting and in daylight so you can see and get a real feel of it you know what i'm saying but before we go i do want to show you just some arm swatches also so you can get another view on how these look especially because they are red a lot of time to the bare eye they can look very very similar but they weren't they all are different with different undertones 
undertone and it's the undertone that gets you that's the one that you know if it'll look good or not you know what i'm saying but yeah guys this is it thank you so much for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of time with me today i appreciate you so much i will list everything down in the description box and where to buy them if you are interested and you guys it's like a legitimate ornament like an ornament what the hell like I'm, I'm gonna keep these and put it on my tree because this is just the cutest freaking detail for six bucks we got a deal we got a deal pigmented creamy application easy and you got a bunch of tones you know but yeah guys let me know your thoughts on these have you seen them around have you tried them have you seen the ornament when i saw it i'm like oh my god this is a selling point, okay? But yeah, I love you guys so much. Let me know which one's your favorite one. And let me know, do you rock red? Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right here, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!